This podcast contains adult themes, sexual content, and strong language. If you can't handle that, you should probably leave. Hi, and welcome to Bustles and Bangers with your hostess, Rachel and Christopher. I love it when you say my name. episode whoop, whoop. <laughs> it's so thrilling and exciting to be reading the billionaire's baby negotiation on bustles and bangers with rachel and christopher mm-hmm, mm-hmm, christopher christopher so <clears throat> if you remember this is the third episode of billionaire's baby negotiation i'd just like to mention i think this is like our 15th episode altogether, though so whoop whoop that's pretty cool. Can I get a whoop whoop? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the energy for that. <laughs> it was mine was little. <laughs> All right, fine. So anyway, so we are on chapter. Nice. <laughs> right out the gate. Chapter. <laughs> chapter nine. <laughs> We are on chapter nine of the Billionaire's Baby Negotiation. It's a Harlequin book by Millie Adams. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <clears throat> kind of got a Viking, Nordic, Icelandic feel to it. Um, and it's very lush and wealthy. and But it's just full of drama. Nothing but drama. Drama, drama, drama. All right, so there was some actual penetration in this one so far. There though. was lots of it, I That's guess. That's the first sort of episode where we've actually had it. Started out, right, yeah. So here's the deal, speaking of that. It slows down because of that. No, you can't tell me. I'm just saying, like, for me, it dried up, and it's a lot of mental... Well, let's just go there. Blah, 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 So, well, if you can remember... um. Gunner and Olive. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So uh, he has gotten her pregnant. He feel the way he talks, though, is like she's gotten herself pregnant. (laughs) You've done this and now I have to fix (laughs) the problem. How could you do this to us? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So he also has found out that she had done a little bit of corporate espionage and he feels like she's a traitor so he doesn't know how to trust her his assistant out the window (laughs) yeah (laughs) after he found out so and he's basically have has told her at this point like i'm gonna ruin you and your company i'm gonna buy your company Mm -hmm. you're gonna marry me and have this baby and um We'll live happily ever after. Wow. That's, yeah, so. Which part of this is her idea? None of oh, the, okay. the espionage. <laughs> this, is, this is what happens when you get caught in corporate espionage. Yeah. The, yeah, the you, owner of the other company gets to decide gets your you fate. pregnant. Yeah, you have to get pregnant and then <laughs> marry them. Yeah. A little hierarchy And then there. tank your assets <laughs> and then they'll buy them all up or rock bottom. Yeah. <laughs> Learn from history, everybody. Learn. Learn from Gunnar and Olive's mistakes. All right, so also, he has taken her to his Iceland home um, and is getting a paternity test. He wants to make sure it's his baby before he moves forward. Because otherwise, if it's not his otherwise, baby... Otherwise, it's kidnapping. He's, yeah, and he's going to send her to jail. So <laughs> Wait, what, she kidnapped him? <laughs> no, for the espionage. Uh, I think that he maybe is playing with fire right there because he'd be like, well, I mean, yeah, but... Then he kidnapped me and took me yeah. to Iceland against my will. Yeah, so. And then forced me into a paternity test. Yeah. Anyway, but she's going with it. So, like, whatever. Shut up, Olive. <laughs> like, I know what you're doing. Sometimes oh, please ladies, don't hurt yeah, me. Yeah, sometimes ladies just like it when you take control. Yeah. Don't choke me. <laughs> but do, please. <laughs> All right, so here we are, chapter nine. Ready? Mm-hmm. When the doctor arrived, Olive swept out of her room wearing a camel-colored sweater and loose white pants that flowed with her every motion. She looked soft, her dark hair down and framing her face, markedly different to the woman she typically was in her black uniform. I see you have rejuvenated as much as possible, though I am a bit chagrined to see there is no black. Um, Chagrin. Do people really talk like that? I don't know what that means. <laughs> what does it mean? 
All right, so I'm an idiot. Um, None, he said, grinning. That seems mean unnecessarily. I feel that you are mean to yourself unnecessarily. She mused on that. I'm not mean. It is simplification. Also, I have never seen fit to dress for the approval of others. She was beautiful all the same, though he did not say so. Mm. <laughs> okay. he had like a tray of chocolate cupcakes waiting for her. Ugh, yeah. Was that another thing where they were petting yes. each other? Well, <laughs> Yeah, like back and forth with the chocolate cupcake thing. So, <clears throat> let's see. He is saying to her, perhaps you need help. Perhaps my acquisition of Ambient will be beneficial to you. Somehow, I don't think so. Somehow, I think you're trying to position a hostile takeover as a favor. And I find that to be disingenuous. And frankly, think you're better than that. Fine. Do you want honesty? I find you unworthy of retaining ownership of your company after that stunt you pulled. <laughs> unworthy. Gunner finds me unworthy. Whatever shall I do? Begin to make your apologies, Olive. Screw your apologies. You are unrepentant. Mm. I think I've made that quite clear. <laughs> this is what I'm reading in my spare time. Yeah, I feel like I don't have time for this argument. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted you to know it was happening. <laughs> if I have to read this, you have to listen to it. Okay. Come on, Millie. So they Come go. Come on, Millie. You're better this than is, this. No, there's so much of this. <laughs> Why do they guys? talk? Nobody talks like that. I really like it when y'all treat me like this. Please listen to my, my misery of having to read <laughs> these awful books. <laughs> All right. So um, he says to her. So you admit that what you did was wrong? Why is it so important that you to you that I admit it? I'm not certain that it's wrong. Because I'm a narcissist? <laughs> That's kind of my thing. I get all I need, about it. I need to be told I'm right. Being a bitch is my kink. Again, we have different goals. Mine was to get the contract. Yours is to feel a certain way about how you go about getting the work. Damn. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. And then they go, do, 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 do. Are you hungry? Oh, and she's like, this is another eating contest. <laughs> she says, assume that I'm hungry unless stated otherwise. And I felt her on that. Right. I was like, yeah. Just bring her some food. Yes. All right. So. You've kidnapped her. <laughs> Might as well feed her. So um, he went to the fridge and took out a large tray of meat and cheese. She looked at him with skepticism. Why are you being nice to me? Do you consider this nice? Yeah. Well, he's just, <laughs> just sitting here like. <laughs> telling her how worthless she is and how he's going to take over her shit and how and you're like, not worthy of leading your own business that you built. Now here's a charcuterie um, board. Here's some <laughs> ham and cheese. I didn't even bother with the bread. Oh, there's no crackers. Yeah, you don't look like you need some carbs, there's girl. No so crackers here's some in uh, Iceland. Yeah, and then she's just like, "Aw, mm. that's so nice." Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she blinked and tilted her head, and she looked rather like a questioning sparrow. I like well, I don't spaniel. really know. Doesn't know where they are. <laughs> yeah, maybe it isn't all that nice. I don't have a lot of interaction with people. I have employees, and I have. She started laughing. They're not people. I have you, and we spar and fight, and you bring me cupcakes. I guess you like to feed me. He said it was a game. Mm -hmm. And She's, he won when he got to pump you full of fucking... Yeah. Well, yeah. And she said, well, you are batter. the only person that I play games with. I think I sadly misread what we were. And he said, what exactly did you think? She said... I, I we were friends. <laughs> I would have said that you were my rival, my enemy, but sometimes I felt as if you were my only friend. I do not have friends, he said. Mm -hmm. better, <laughs> better recognize. Gunner doesn't have any friends. No, of course you don't. You are, you're a Viking, a warrior in all things, a man with a coat of honor. But he said there is no point in bringing emotion into anything. <laughs> <laughs> coat of honor. Uh, this, okay. These people. So blah, 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 blah. They keep talking about emotions and anger and how they know who they are and more about chocolate cupcakes. He said, or well, let's see, you started craving chocolate the minute you heard my footsteps, which was more my aim. I found it amusing. Uh, not that kind of chocolate, <laughs> Gunner. <laughs> she said, yes, you trained my body to respond to you. Oh. Suddenly as it was as if she heard the words after they exited her mouth and she breathed in sharply, her eyes going round. He said, indeed. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> uh, well, hopefully the doctor calls soon so we can get down to the rest of your threats. 
months. Mm. He said, you are looking forward to them. What other choice do I have? You've kidnapped me against my will. All right. Chapter 10. After breakfast that morning, she explored. Every room in the house was a particular sort of beige. Not plain, just tranquil. That sounds pretty fucking plain, my guy. Yeah, super. Everything was tranquil. It was all bagel colored. Mental health hospital. Everything. Mm. Like the inside of like (laughs) an old, like a 1980s school, like bathroom. (laughs) Yes. All right. Let's see. But then... She opened the door at the back of the house and was stunned by a riot of color. The shelves were lined with action figures still in their boxes, stacks of board games and bins of candy. Mm. What? (laughs) (laughs) What? (laughs) Hold on. I don't know who's saying it. Hold on. (laughs) Uh, Oh. I guess she said it, or maybe well, it would be him. weird Hold if he on. said it because no. he'd be like, "Where did all well, this come like, from? <laughs> what happened? Wait. A clown moved in." The statement is: "There's a, <clears throat> there's somebody saying what, and then somebody goes, what are you doing in here?'" So I don't know. He's like, "What? What are you doing in here?" Oh, it wasn't his. He was stuttering. <laughs> there's no dot 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 though. I got so. you. So it's her. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh. She turned to face him, her heart pounding rapidly. I was only, I just wanted to look around. And now you have. <laughs> and she goes, what is this? <laughs> Why is it such a surprise? Why is it such a surprise to see a room of toys? <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, I guess because this dude's a fucking square. I guess. I guess. Oh, my God. I don't know. I just... I guess, yeah, I guess he's such an asshole about people and he's not nice and stuff like that. She's surprised he has this room and I guess it could look sketchy as fuck. <laughs> like, what are you doing out here? Like, so, yeah, I guess she should question it. But at the same time, I was just like, I don't know, I guess because I've worked in the comic book industry like, and I've seen plenty of grown men with like obsessions. We our own bedroom, you and I. It's like full of this shit so, yeah dude, i don't know it's awesome i just was like i wouldn't have been surprised but i guess i can understand yeah, it now she's probably never seen anything like this before <laughs> i've never seen another color other than neutral my whole life she doesn't know there's any other cupcake flavors <laughs> but chocolate, <Just> chocolate. <laughs> girl you're missing out there's birthday cake and strawberry <laughs> Oh, no. Okay, hold on. Where am I? He says, it's a collection. (laughs) This is so dry. You laughing is making me laugh. I'm sorry. (laughs) It's just starting. (laughs) She's stupid. Do I need to take a break? (laughs) You got her, Millie. (laughs) Millie Adams, you did it. You broke her. You have to breathe in, word. <laughs> Surely candy is not part of the collection. <laughs> I know that these are collector's <laughs> items. <laughs> Tommy, <laughs> candy's from like the 70s. Yeah, I've had these Avengers <laughs> fucking Laffy Taffy since 1962. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I might need tissues or something. No, nope, not in here. <clears throat> what if somebody has a sad podcast? We don't have, no. <laughs> they don't film. Those are, those are downstairs. That's for the Pisces and the listening group. Fuck this. All right, I got to skip it. Okay. Oh, dude, you can't skip That's, it. I mean, no, man. Like, it's a trigger. It's a stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Surely candy is not part of the collection. She examined the rows of sweets, all brightly colored and very out of character. But then 
He'd eaten her cupcake. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't out of character. In a man of speak <laughs> in a manner of speaking, it is. You don't eat the candy? She pressed. I do, he said. And she might have laughed at the discomfort she saw in him just now, except. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, maybe a little bit. But like like a nine-year-old that just got caught masturbating by his mom. <laughs> like, you weren't supposed to see this room. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> All right, she could sense something beneath the surface, and it concerned her. Why? <laughs> uh I'm a graduate of clown college. Oh, my God. The colors make me happy. It'd be way scarier if it was like a room full of like mannequins. <laughs> like that's it. You don't even have a sewing machine. It's just... <laughs> like a Scooby-Doo episode. <laughs> you really can't make it past this, can you? We got it. Yeah, this conversation. <laughs> oh my god, it's stupid. All right, hold on. <clears throat> There's gonna be a lot of pauses in this thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> it started as collecting some things I had when I was a child and it expanded. Every billionaire must have a prescribed amount of novelty items that make no sense. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> so it's just buying them to have them? <laughs> No, we go in all this childhood trauma oh, about, hell yeah. about how his dad smacked him oh. and, <laughs> and then that he, you know, didn't feel loved and oh. all this stuff. So oh. I don't think he so was he allowed buys to candy have, as an adult. Eventually he wasn't allowed to like have toys and stuff like that. That's so this crazy. is like his way to still Oh uh, yeah. Uh, okay. I think he's just afraid to Oh my god. We I mean, don't judge me. I buy toys and candy and all kinds of yeah, stuff. Yeah, like Whatever. I don't think we act like adults, so. No, I still feel like I'm like 13 I fucked up my makeup so bad. Look at my face. Yeah, dude. dude. <laughs> <laughs> You're so pretty. Uh, I need a napkin. <clears throat> nope. Not in here. All right. Uh, can we please skip this? Yeah, go on. All right. Gunner, we have to play a game. <laughs> she <laughs> she going to pull out one of his board games? What is yeah, this? she took the box off the top of the stack, one she was familiar with, a strategy game that was all about building empires with wheat and sheep and ore. <laughs> we must not pass up this opportunity to match wits with one another. Must we not? So we have 12 Absolutely. 12-hour game of risk. <laughs> yeah, I suppose while we are still waiting for the doctor... So they start playing this game and they choose their pieces and they start talking back and forth. You should fear me. I am a master at this kind of thing. That's her. Oh, that was her? <laughs> yeah. <Fear> so <laughs> um, it's like they just have, what was it that they just had? Sheep and ore and I don't know, plastic? Something like that. All right. <clears throat> At some point, they're like, I'm quickly con cornering the market on sheep. I'm not sure there's that's something to be proud of. I think you will find that it is. He grinned the way he did when he presented her with a cupcake. Oh. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> then um, they are still having a big conversation about what they are and will they love each other and how they felt about their dads. <laughs> like, that's all it is. <laughs> and then... Um, she said at one point, because of the betrayal, did I hurt you? She asked. His eyes suddenly turned into ice chips. <laughs> <laughs> Two snow cones? <laughs> <laughs> no, you do not have the power to do such a thing. Oh, it's only that you have been very angry at me. Yes, I have been. You got pregnant, remember? <laughs> I'm pissed at you. <clears throat> he said... You do not possess the ability to hurt me, Olive. And mm. she could hear beneath that a firm, no one does. And so now you won't take my word? You won't take my word that the baby is yours? Just play the game, Olive. <laughs> like, they're still playing this stupid game and arguing about whether it's his baby. <clears throat> he talks about how he doesn't have friends again. 
Um, I can't. I can't imagine <clears throat> why this dude doesn't have any friends. He has colleagues, lovers, and she's like, "And you intend to take me as a wife? I already know what the results will be, so I already know what you will demand, and so I want to know what does it mean? Will you love the baby? Will you ever love me?" Mm. She felt small and afraid, asking that question. She did not wish to know why it affected her so. <sighs> How do you feel so far? I'm bored. Mm. <laughs> I feel like all these books of these rich people have such dull lives. Yeah. It can't be that boring being having copious amounts of cash. What are y'all doing? They don't know what to do with it. Dude, I, I never read about you fuckers on go-karts, like running into each other, having a good oh old time. Oh my God, that sounds great. You know? Oh my throwing God, parades right? in towns for no fucking reason whatsoever. What the fuck? You don't no, think you, about that. You dildos are just <laughs> up there like, oh, I'm going to buy call options on fucking the spy. Well, they spend the all the money people. on the car, on the services, Man. on the parties. They Boo. throw parties. Y'all don't even have any fucking friends. Parties. For who? Yeah, that's what I'm for saying. For fake people because they talk later, you know. How could you ever? About the celebrities they may have at their wedding. Oh, yeah. I guess <clears> so. <throat> so. Whatever. Right. I'm saying it out of pure jealousy. Y'all can lick my butt. And he got up and walked away without speaking. And she wished more than anything that she could find a way to be something to him other than an oppor- opponent, worthy or not. She wished that she she didn't wholly know what she wanted from Gunner, or perhaps she was simply afraid to put voice to it. They were them like nothing else. <laughs> This had reminded her of that period of their long history, of the years that had not been this, this fraught, terrible thing, but the last few months could not be altered or changed. They had to find a new way to be, and she ached with wanting him, not just physically, (laughs) but she wanted to piece back together the emotions. Ma'am, this is a Wendy's? (laughs) (laughs) She was going to have to come up with a plan because she did not think she could bear it. So, <clears throat> chapter 11. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm getting Beauty and the Beast vibes here. Olive knew if she was going to escape, it had to be tonight. Oh, she's running now? Here we are. This the, doc- was- the doctor hasn't showed up in eight days. Should we be worried about the doctor? <laughs> yeah, are they going to run out of food? Do like, they have access? Yeah, was he the pilot <laughs> He's too? come up the mountain. Who? The doctor. He has to come up the mountain. They're on a mountain. <laughs> he is a 92-year-old man. <laughs> <laughs> the escalator isn't working on the he's mountain. Got tennis side. rackets on his feet. He's climbing <laughs> up. Oh, this wasn't going to work. He was so angry with her, with everything, and so convinced of his rightness. She tried connecting with him, tried to find their footi- footing, and he'd closed it all down. He had said he'd never love her, and she just needed. She needed some control back. She'd given it all to him when she'd told him that there had been no one else, no other men, that the baby was his, and she'd loved her father, and she was broken by his loss, that she'd wanted Gunner as a gift for herself. She'd told him that. <laughs> so <laughs> all right <clears throat> so she is planning her escape right yeah just gonna tie in all her sheets together she's gonna throw it out <laughs> the window <laughs> yeah he could not force her down the aisle after all if it if he was intent on ruining her either way yes he can you ever seen a disney movie <laughs> it happens all the time <laughs> of course it was only when she arrived at the sky tram that she had the thought that she actually had no idea how to run the sky tram she looked for a what's box what's a sky tram the box that everybody stands in and runs down a um cable oh, on the side of a mountain okay. right. <clears throat> so um he had ta- he had they had to take it um up the mountain to get to this house when they were dropped off yeah, in yeah, the I Iceland remember. area. I remember, I remember. So, um, let's see. She looked for a box and tried to figure it out. Look for controls. She couldn't see anything. It was dark and the snow was coming down thick. But that was okay. She was intrepid. She knew exactly how they had gotten up. It was a straight line. And so, she decided to head down on foot. She knew that it would be a bit of a long walk, but thankfully she was outfitted. She was prepared. <laughs> <laughs> the front picture of she this sounds book prepared. the front picture of this book i can't tell if it's a robe a hospital gown or it's supposed to be a fancy coat but she's in a really fancy dress with all these jewels and her makeup perfectly done and her hair slicked back and he's all sniffing her head <laughs> he's wearing a nice suit and it's showing off his watch 
and I, and then there's the Icelandic mountains and waterfalls in the back with all the frozen water. I'm like, you're not gonna make it. <laughs> you're just, not gonna make it. All right. Isn't there like monsters in Iceland? <laughs> they the yeti. You should never go outside by yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> she moved her foot to a rocky outcropping and slipped. She clung but tightly that to didn't the ground. Last long, did it? <laughs> the frozen dirt biting on into on. Okay, the frozen dirt biting into her fingertips. She wasn't going to turn back. She was just going to go step by step down the mountain because it was the only way down, just step by step. Yeah, because if you turn around and go up the mountain, you're certainly not going to make it down there. She would make it. The only way down is to go down. (laughs) She had to for herself, for the baby. She would. You know who she's thinking about? Hmm. The first person she listed herself <laughs> yeah i know like keep that baby in a warm area it's cold out there man why are you <laughs> he woke up when he heard a noise he got up and dressed he always slept naked and went outside he didn't see anything and then he went to olive's room and found her bed abandoned, abandoned. her phone was gone of course whatever she was doing she was not trustworthy not on the level that he would have liked her to be uh. but what did she think <laughs> she was playing at if she went out there in the dead of night she was going to die and the baby the he baby. growled throwing on his winter clothes and grabbing a stack of blankets he saw that the tram was still in place and judging by the way the snow was situated on it it had not moved but of course there would be no way she could operate it had the little idiot actually gone down the mountain <laughs> on her own he growled in a fury and began growled. to go after her she could only be a few minutes ahead he tried to find her though the thick sleet through the thick sleet but didn't see her <clears throat> all right do you think she's dead or not i think she's i th- no. she's only like six feet or so off the porch i need a pillow My, i have new i don't think that she's I made it that far booty. all right let me move <clears throat> all right he turned and started to go back up the mountain, keeping his eyes to the left and the right. And after a fashion, he simply began to call for her. And after a fashion? Yeah, I guess that's the right term. <clears throat> he simply began to call for her. Olive, he said. Olive! It's such a weird name. I'm sorry to any Olives listening, but like, it is unusual if you were screaming it out loud to a yeah. person. Olive! I don't know. I don't like it. <laughs> okay, and then he saw her with three inches of snow built up on her coat crouched Dang. down against the side of the mountain her eyes were closed her body limp no he said his voice rough he went to her quickly shaking her her head lolled back and forth and her eyes <laughs> open dazed you little idiot <laughs> you dumb ass he starts hitting her you're not the pilot fool he said <laughs> fool <laughs> <laughs> He picks her up by her ankles, drags her back Starts to the house. Starts choking her. Like. <laughs> yeah. Gets one knee on each side of her hips, reaches around her neck, and just squeezes the life out of her. I'm just going to finish it for you, <laughs> dumbass. If you wanted to die so bad, we could have done this at home. Uh, it's an easier cover-up story. Well, she's she like, went I, out. Don't, I don't want to die in prison. <laughs> <laughs> Pregnant and in prison. <laughs> hey, that's I wanted a to good go. show. Yeah, dude. Hey, we should make that. <laughs> and then the baby gets born and becomes the warden. <laughs> oh, it'd be a corrupt facility. <clears throat> All right. When they arrived at the edge of the hot springs, he set her down in the snow. Wait, what? He was going to take her down to the hot springs. Why didn't he take her home? It's in between. <laughs> She was almost going to die. He didn't have time Why to Why didn't lug. she just stop at the hot springs? He would have to lug her up the hill. He only has blankets. <laughs> I mean, granted, with her Viking fantasy, he should be able to. But Yeah, this turd sounds like he's not all that uh, that he says he is. I mean, certain he's a, you know, I don't know. I don't like him. I liked Gunner at the beginning of this. How bad is my makeup? Dude, I don't know. I can't, it's dark in here. Okay. <clears throat> that means it's really bad. When they arrived at the edge of the hot springs, he set her down in the snow and stripped himself naked with ruthless... I thought he was already... Oh, no. He <laughs> growled and threw on his winter clothes. Effic- efficiency. Then he picked her up and did the same to her, carrying her into the steaming pale blue liquid. She didn't rouse when the hot water touched her skin. Her lips were tinged blue, and he cursed. <laughs> Gosh darn it. (laughs) He can only hope that hypothermia had not set in. In truth, or 
she would be in much bigger trouble than a hot springs would be able to solve. He moved the water over her skin and ignored the stirring in his body. She was beautiful. It was true. And he had been bathed. Oh, so battered. now that she's unconscious and then it's floating more, water, she's like, more beautiful. Oh, mm. I think, I think maybe now, now is the time. Why am I erect? To get her double pregnant. I have a boner. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, her eyelids fluttered open. Oh, she said thrashing suddenly in his arms and then he was like oh never mind he held her tight up against his chest her hands splayed there settle down he said what happened where am i you're in the hot springs i'm not supposed to submerge in water over 104 degrees i read that online when i couldn't sleep the other night like what (laughs) okay okay first, like, first world it's, problems it's it's six degrees outside and this water is 40 degrees <laughs> i think, I think you're room okay temperature yeah it only looks like it's steaming it's, because it's, it's fucking, fucking cold freezing. it's literally <laughs> snowing like s- snowing down on them yeah it's not really hot all right it's just hotter than the air so she had been out there a couple of hours. He's arguing with her about it, letting her know what was happening, blah, blah, blah. They start talking about getting out of the hot springs, how it will be unpleasant, but then we got to walk up the mountain, and he brought blankets. Uh, and suddenly, it was as if she became conscious of the friction between their bodies. Of oh, the oh fact damn, he's already in there? Well, yeah, he was in there first, and then he pulled her in or something. No, no, in there. Oh, no, not yet. Of the fact that there was no clothing between them. Her oh, cheeks are you went sure? pink and she wiggled slightly. So <laughs> they're discussing why she wants leverage and why she's trying to run off with the baby and blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Uh, let us get back to the house. Do not try anything like this again. Not in the snowstorm. Never, he said. I'm Never. not a kitten gunner. I'm not the kind of person who is simply going to lay down and accept what you have decreed. I am a woman. A woman who has been taught how to fight. I'm hardly going to let go of that now. The war is over. Consider yourself pillaged. The war isn't over until you're dead. <laughs> and even then, I'm pretty sure that I would haunt your ass. Oh. This, the way she talks in this book and then all of the thoughts and then the... I, it's pretty bad he talks about carrying her up it takes a whole chapter just to get her back up <laughs> like and she's not even that pregnant yet she's still small the doctor hasn't even confirmed it yet <laughs> the softness of her body pressed against his sent a lick of heat through him how was it she did this to him after what she'd done after running away after all of it how did he still want her like this I, I think he wanted her the whole time dude <clears throat> Yeah. I wouldn't have brought her to ice. How much did that cost, by the way? Nothing. He's a bazillionaire. I guess that's true. Yeah. Um, so, so blah, blah, blah. We're in his head. He was an Icelander to his soul, protecting the land. The natural resources mattered to him more than just about anything. And he tried to have harmony in all parts of his life. His business life did not conflict with the morals he felt outside. <laughs> For it was more as if he had no other life at all. Olive seemed to be at war with what she wanted, with who she was, with what she did. She was a fascinating constellation of fractured stars. Is this her talking? Him. Okay. Little things here and there that seemed to speak of dissonance in who she was. But in that, that, okay, look, I have to say, I read the whole book. We're going to finish it today in a couple episodes. But that was the most beautiful part of this entire book. Okay. I'm going to read it again. Okay. I would love to hear it again. Shut up. She was a fascinating constellation of fractured stars, little things here and there that seemed to speak of dissonance in who she was. Mm-hmm. I just think it was sweet. It was the only decent thing in the whole book, so well, I just wanted to read it again. Good. So way to go, Millie Adams. That is what sold me on the thing. That's why I want it. I've got through this whole thing just to hear that pretty line. That's it. Well, I'm, I'm glad that, yep. yeah, yep. Found, found a silver lining. So I had to, to find, yeah, it was yeah, like one silver line. It was one sentence. Because the rest of this book has been a little a little tough to swallow, <laughs> uh, I would yes, say. Yes, and you don't even have to hear the whole thing. I have to read the whole thing. <laughs> All right, finally they arrived at the summit. Finally they arrived back at the house. Go and put something else on, he said. <laughs> she looked at him beseeching. Go, he said. Dang. Go. Go. And then he said, now you will sleep in my bed tonight. I will do no such thing. You have proven yourself to be a flight risk, and now I have to keep an eye on you. Mm -hmm. If you do not like the consequences, you have no one to blame but yourself. All right. Chapter 12. I think this is it, right? We were doing four a piece. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. She was in a dreamless sleep, cocooned in warmth. And when she woke up, the sun was shining bright in the room. She couldn't make heads or tails out of where she was, not for a moment. And then suddenly she remembered. She was in Gunner's room and Gunner's house because she had tried to run away last night. <laughs> she had nearly frozen to death. And then he had dragged her naked into a hot springs. And that was now too many times that she had been unconscious in the presence of that man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You're already pregnant. You've already done it. I think. And he doesn't want to touch you anytime else. And he touched you Unless when you're, you're awake. Unconscious. I think he just doesn't like you. I th yeah, that's what I'm getting at. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, These two probably shouldn't be together. <laughs> Every book is like this. Every romantic book is like, I fucking hate you. Let's do it. <laughs> that's so stupid. Um, Blah, blah, blah. She's all in her head. It was just all a little bit too much. These last few days that she had spent in Gunner's house were the only real vacation she'd had in years. And this was basically a kidnap. And it felt like a vacation. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, rich people are obviously very bored. Yeah. If one of y'all wants to kidnap me and go yeah, to Iceland, please, I'm, uh, I'm down for a couple of weeks. Take me to the Bahamas. Tie me up in one of those bungalows. I'm not sleeping with you, though. <laughs> not next to you. Depending anyway. who it is, I might. I might. What is the term that the Beauty and the Beast situation had when you... Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah. Yeah, no, I this is definitely happening right now. Yeah, but I could get down on some of that. You want to take me to your house later? Yeah. Yeah. All I'll right. Tie you up, build a wall <laughs> around you. Mm -hmm. As long as you snuggle me, I'm, I'm okay with it. I just want <laughs> right. some snuggles. All right. Uh, she is thinking about how she is being aroused by thinking about the situation where... She was in the hot springs and possibly dying, but his all rock hard Icelandic Viking body was all up on her. Mm. Mm. That's all she's thinking about. Huh? That's all she's thinking about. Yeah. Mm. So here we are. More emotions spilling out. I don't want to talk about them. Let's see. <laughs> You're the best. Look at these two big things. This is all him talking about when he was... She was 16. He'd eaten her birthday cake. And <laughs> I was wrong so, about my father. And uh, when yeah. I was a boy. Is this more about like the candy room she found? This is, yeah. They're, yeah. So why he has this? Why he Why do you have an air hockey so table? Why? why do you have an air hockey table? Why huh? do you have a PS4? Why? <laughs> All right. Um, he's going on and on again about no child of mine will grow up without his father. And when I say that, why not? Why do you care? I'm not leaving it up to you. He said, that's offensive. She said, mm, no, that is offensive. I will have my child and I will have you. He Wait. will finally have a family that is together. That is married. I will not have why she raised her hands in exasperation. Neither of us had mothers, Gunner. Neither of us had nuclear families. I'm willing to give up ambient. I'm willing to give it up. Her voice fractured as she realized how true all of this was. Because I can't have a child raised in boardrooms. Because I can't have a child be raised simply to be an afterthought. Simply to be an instrument for which to continue to carry out our bidding. It needs to be something else. We need to be something else. Oh. I got into it at the end there. I kind of like her viewpoints there. Yeah. She's, she's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So here we are. Next, this is the next little footstep in this journey yeah. to Gunner. It's, shotgun uh, it's wedding. time to grow up a little bit, Gunner. Yeah, I think. yeah. Maybe I'm, start I'm acting. Burning down your toy room. Maybe, yeah, we're <laughs> selling all your GI Joes. You need to sit in this room alone, like your dad made you. <laughs> it's so sad. And we're eating all this candy. Uh, so blah blah blah. More feelings. Okay, I'm looking for something that I put like a little star next to that's exciting, and there's nothing. Oh, I found out how old she really is. We were wrong. She's not that young. Oh, I thought they made it sound like she was young. <laughs> so she's in her head, blah, blah, blah. And it says, now standing there in this living room, as far as all of it had taken her, she wasn't sure what her dream was. She was 26 years old and the lone female CEO of any of the tech companies. So she was the only CEO at 26 year old of the tech companies around mm -hmm. town. And she was the youngest. So she does, she's going back and forth about, she doesn't know if she wants it or not. Blah, blah, blah. Ah, stuff it on my stuff. Um, <clears throat> I'll marry you. She said, 
on one condition. She saw it clearly now. She needed to get off the path her father had put her on. She needed her own path. The one that would lead her to herself, to Olive, the best person she could be, the best mother she could be. And what is that? I want you to invest in a startup. <laughs> That's our thing. He said, what will your startup be? They're I don't literally know. literally arranging a marriage. Yeah. This is a no- billionaire's yeah, baby is, negotiation. Uh, <laughs> uh, you guys need to sign some paperwork <laughs> like, yeah, before this is done. He said, what will your startup be? I don't know. And maybe it won't end up being a startup per se. I have no idea. Not yet. But I want you to invest in me and what I decide I want. I It won't be until a year after the baby is born. And by then I should have some ideas. I will marry you as long as I can still figure out who I am. <laughs> He says, that's a pretty speech. And if you wish, of course, I will do that. And I have to be able to fuck other people. Yeah, here I literally made a note that said arranged marriage shotgun wedding. <coughs> yeah. Um, they're talking again about, will you love me? He's like, nah. No, dude. <laughs> like, no. Of course not. All right. Um. And suddenly, let's see. Oh, I'm basically black, to... blackmailing each other <laughs> into a relationship. So, yeah. So she says, I'm going to be putting out an announcement about our upcoming marriage. And suddenly she realized what that would mean. The world was going to explode. They, uh, I think they'll be okay. They were the most storied business rivals in modern history. And they were getting married, having a baby for all the world to see, merging their companies beneath the umbrella of his. It was a decisive a victory mm. for Magnum. Y'all are going to run into all kinds of Monopoly lawsuits. Mm-hmm. She looked at him, her greatest boardroom rival, and now her fiancé, the father of her child. I'm ready if you are. He smiled that wolfish smile. Dang, he didn't have to buy her a ring. And this time, she realized that when he did so, it did not go all the way up to those steely blue eyes. There was a reason he was like this. She knew it. And she'd seen glimpses of a different man, a warmer man. (laughs) Wow, it all changed just like that. But he did his best to cover it, and she had a feeling that she would never be powerful enough to melt all that ice. Is that the end? (sighs) Of the third... It's got to be in the end of the book. ...section of the book. We're going to move on to chapter 13. You could have ended it right there. Yeah, we're done. That would have been a pretty good that ending. That would have been a good ending, That Millie. was a pretty good, yeah. So We were thoroughly bored and ready for it to be over. <laughs> and that would have been a great. I was ready for it to be over after the first sex scene. Man. I was done. Yeah, like Look, that, I could have ended right there because. I, I fast forward through porn. So like <laughs> this book, especially getting it out of the way at the beginning. It's like if porn was like, watch this hardcore DP scene first. And mm. then watch them fall in love afterwards. No, there's too many. Fun, there's too much funny shit in porn for me to like take. It but it's at sometimes. least it's first, and yeah. that's how our other books are. The slow stuff is first, and then you get. So <laughs> I I can't do this backward stuff. I know I've talked a lot of shit about the other books and about them being slow. And is there even gonna be sex? And sometimes there's not. That's super disappointing. Yeah. That's like thinking you're watching porn and there's never any sex. <laughs> You fast forward through the whole thing and it's like, what the <laughs> fuck? It's just two people arguing. It was just a conversation the whole time. I was just, yeah, it's, Fuckers. It's just a dude and his stepmom talking to each other. <laughs> he had to go to his room later. God. But yeah, so. Um, Break time. Yeah. Thanks everybody for listening to another one of these things. Yeah, we will literally be right back for the next Bye. one. If you want more where this came from, follow, like, and subscribe. We're on Insta and TikTok at Bustles and Bangers. Or you can find us personally on Insta and TikTok at GypsyDanger317.